What's going on guys, Zach here, and welcome to another inventory video for you guys. Today I wanna to expand upon the inventory system we created last time, and really sort of showcase and explain the things that are in the inventory system, along with, I wanna build on top of that, I wanna work on the weapon system of the inventory. And so I'll give you a quick example of that. We're gonna mainly uh, work on the hatchet item at this point, so there are a couple issues with this inventory system. One thing I want to note just straight off the bat is I had a comment in the last video saying there might there may be a glitch with the system. And that is that, you know, when you get a full inventory system, you can still pick up your you can still pick up items and it would just destroy it. So, I haven't really done too much testing with this code. Um, I had just uh, um, you know, really created it and made a video and uh, of course I tested it a ton. But um, that was one thing I kind of overshadowed. And I wanted to test it out. So here you can see we have a full inventory system. And I put the maximum capacity for the slots at two just to sort of show you this so I wasn't there for so long trying to build up 16 of each slot. And here we have a full inventory system except we can put one more wood piece into it. So if you notice, the inventory system already filters out the ability to um, destroy or, or basically take up these but if we go to that wood piece that we can still get it, it allows it it takes it but now that we can't have any more wood it doesn't take it and the only thing I did to do this was and I was doing something that I didn't need to do was in our o, o, uh, OBJ player in our collision with our O item I just took out the destroy so instance destroy because in our add to inventory we're already destroying it with item instance destroy once it adds it to the system. Another quick note that we have here is that we can pick up a hatchet and it will stack on top of, on top of each other and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and begin with that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you're adding the hatchet to the inventory and let me real quick just bring this back to let's say 8 for the maximum capacity. When you're adding the object to the inventory, we, we basically through this script here, we're checking if that item already exists. If it does, we're going to overlap that item. If that item doesn't exist in our inventory system, we're basically going to create a new slot for it. And what we want to do with just our hatchet is create a new slot. So here I'm going to say if item does not equal hatchet. I'm going to put all of this code here. Else, I'm going to put this code because we don't want it to stack. So just by doing that, if we go ahead and run the game, we pick up a hatchet and okay, they still stack. What is going on here? Oh, I'm sorry. I think this should be to name, not item. Let's see if that works. So we have that. And okay, cool. So these don't stack, but everything else does. But you'll notice we still have an issue where we can <laughs> just take them and compile them back onto each other. So that doesn't really work out. So in our update inventory script, we can go all the way down and our transfer item current we can literally just take out this line of code and I can take it out for all this because we never want to have to deal with uh, those items being put into the equip and quick swap slots because they can never stack. So now if we do it, I can't actually put them into each other like it should be. But we can still grab the stone, pop them on there. Cool. So now we have the hatchet not stacking on top of each other. So now we need to add sort of a health system into it. And the way we can do this is in our inventory class or uh, uh, object, what we're going to want to do is along with our slot count, we're going to copy and paste this and say slot health.
And the default health is going to be 32. For now, we're going to set them all to zero. And let me upgrade that. Now, just to draw and sort of see what we've got going on here, we're going to draw the uh, uh, health bar. So I'm going to say if item ID equals hatchet, because we only want to draw the health bar on the hatchet. You know, the stone and the wood pieces don't have health. Then I'm just going to draw a simple health bar here. And I'm going to comment drawing health bar. And I'm going to draw set color C green. Draw rectangle. And here it's going to be coordinate X, I, plus 8, we'll say. Coordinate Y, I, plus 32. Coordinate X, I, plus 8, plus global dot slot health, I. Let me expand this. And then coordinate y i plus 46 and outline is going to be false and then let's just take this copy it let's make a little outline for it too so c black we're going to make the outline true and then here we're just going to say 32 because that's the maximum capacity could be so if we run the game now we should have a health bar on just our hatchets now i just did that off the top of my head so it may not look good it may not um, I don't know what it's gonna look like. All right, so here we go. So we have a health bar. It's not filled in yet, but if we set our starting health to 32, it should be filled in completely. Hey, there we go, cool. So that looks good. And then we can take it, and we can equip it in there, and we have our hatchet, and we can take it out. Still can't stack, very cool stuff. So now, obviously, this needs to go down. So only when you're equipped will we make it uh, able to uh, go down. But we also need to, because we're not going down yet, we can't see that when we transfer the item to each slot, because each slot is independent on its health, that it would be recharged. Its health would be recharged every time you uh, transfer the item. So, But before we do that, let's go ahead and just check if it's equipped if it is equipped then um we're gonna say all right in our step event here if global.slot18 equals hatchet then we're gonna say if keyboard check press and this would be some sort of swinging animation or attacking so we're just going to say space. So that's going to be equivalent to the attacking animation. Then we're going to say global dot slot eight uh, uh, slot health eighteen minus equals um, and how many hits do we want to do it at? Let's just say seven. So the health is going to subtract seven. And um, that's basically it. So if we run the game now, and we grab the hatchet, we hit space, nothing happens. But if we put it into our equip class and we hit space, you can see that the health is going down. But if you transfer it back over, you suddenly have full health. It's incredible, it's a miracle. So what we need to do to fix that would be in our transfer item, we want to transfer over the health of our slot that we just took from as well. So here we are going to say along with global.slot i equals item id, global.slot count i equals slot count from the slot taken, uh, etc. So here we can say global.slot health i equals global.slot health from our slot taken. And then we're gonna set, just reset the value of the slot we just took from, global.slot health, slot taken, equals 32. So if we run the game now, 
we should be able to put it into our equip, hit space, bring it down, and we still have the same health. And if we pick up another guy, we put it in there, we hit space, we can transfer it over all over the place, and now we have these different health systems, and the weapons have different healths. So how do we delete the item once we've, um, you know, uh, it's finished off, right? And which can only be done in the equip slot, which is nice. So how we can do this is in our player, in the step event here, we can say, um, if global.slot health 18 is less than or equal to zero, and let's take this out of the space actually. We'll just have that just for the action. Then global.slot 18 equals no one. Um, global.slot uh, count 18 equals zero. Global.slot health. 18 equals 32 and that should be it I think so oh and then we have to actually subtract it so global item um, and here we're going to say uh, just the hatchets uh, ID number which if we go to add to list here is four four um, my, uh, minus minus so we're just subtracting one from that so if we run it again and we pick up a hatchet and you know we hit space oh and then it deletes itself and then we bring this guy in there and it's the same pick up a bunch of hatchets And I think one thing we're, the only thing we're really forgetting here is that if I hit space and I do the quick swap slots, it doesn't transfer over as well, which can be easily fixed just by the same method that we just did. So here we just have to edit this um, by saying global dot slot health 18 equals slot 17 health. I guess if we just copy and paste this. So here would be 16, 15, and this would be equip slot health. And we just gotta change all these numbers here. So this is just changing all the numbers. You should be able to get this by yourself. And we have to obviously make them in here. So bar slot, um, oh no, I'm sorry. Bar slot um, 15 health equals global dot slot health 15 etc etc and then we just change this to health instead of slot count we say slot health then we do the same thing over here. And I would just copy this over, but it looks like we're we get all messed up with the order of which so I'm just gonna copy it real quick, slot health. Slot health. Boom, boom, boom. Here we have 17. 
this would be okay the equip slot slot 17 health 15 and 16 so that should work let's go ahead and run it so I'll pop this guy in here and I'll pop that guy there yep so it worked all right so that's gonna be it for today go leave a like go and subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section and of course, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.